Hey guys, today let's play Shin Megami Tensei IF. Um, I'm not sure if it's pronounced IF or IF, but anyways, this is a spin-off of the Shin Megami Tensei games, released in 1994 for the Super Nintendo. It was released in Japan only, um, so this is a um, fan translation. And yeah, this is uh, released same year as Shin Megami Tensei 2. Uh, which I played to um, the translated version of two that is and uh, yeah I found it pretty interesting quite different than uh, than the other Shin Megami Tensei the, I mean the later Shin Megami Tensei games because yeah the um, previously my only experience with Shin Megami Tensei was four and five which are different uh, games than than the earlier ones so um, yeah it's pretty interesting um, I found two pretty interesting to play so I'm interested to play if as well can be male choose my gender. Uh, yeah, I'll use my real name here. Oops. Uh, yep. Let's go with that. Um, hmm. Can I... Where, where's the end? Here. Oh, here we go. Okay. I was like, where, how do I end? Yeah, end. There we go. Do you like video games? I love games. I mean, that's obvious. Look how many games are on my YouTube channel, right? <laughs> it's obvious. What club are you in? Culture club, I guess? Do you do all your homework? Um, usually. You ever forget things? Hmm. Sometimes. If I've forgotten the question, what's your favorite subject? Um, none of these, actually. Uh, I probably, if you'd ask me, like in school, my favorite subject, probably history. Um, to be honest, yeah, probably history, although that's not the one I specialize in. In your favorite sport, no basketball here. Well, it's obviously basketball for me, so it's not going to be in the. Do you own a smartphone? Really? What? This was 1994, right? Smartphones were invented uh, way later than 1994, but. I mean, I guess most people consider the iPhone to be kind of the, uh, the, the coming of the smartphones, but actually smartphones were there since the Blackberry, right? Um, but even then, 1994, that's pretty early for any smartphones to be existing. Um, yes, I'm always using it, because we're living in 2024, so. This game is, uh, 30 years old, and it's, um, yeah, this game's 30 years old, and somehow it knows about smartphones. That's crazy. Um, playing indoors, of course, I'm playing video games. How big are social gatherings? Two or three people. Hmm. 10,000 yen, that's $1,000. Where the police keep it for myself, split the cash for friends, toss the money, keep the wallet. I probably split the cash. Your strong point is your exceptional speed. I do not mean physical speed, the quickness of your weight as well. Oh, thank you. You should always mix up because you're looking at it. I'm actually very impulsive. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know. I need to think sometimes before I, I make decisions. I know. It's led me into a lot of issues before. That looks like an ominous character. Boy, welcome to my world. Is this the velvet room type of thing? <laughs> okay, never mind. Exceptional exception, but now I'm the omnipotent, omniscient ruler of the expanse. The demon emperor. Okay. And she bless good fortune. Maybe don't your eyes. Okay. Sure. Um, okay. Nah, nah. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Keeps laughing. School is already over. Wow, you really slept well in school. Interesting, I guess I was sleeping a lot in school. In a school setting, it actually reminds me more of Persona. 
Oh, what's this? Midnight hour? What happened? Your classmate Yumi Shir Shirakawa suddenly talked to me. I've been looking for you. I need to talk. Oh, what's this about? All of us travel to school. Something strange going on. Whoa, what happened here? Will you go with this person? Sure, she seems cute. Let's go, Yumi. She became part of my party now. Okay, cool. So, wow, we got this, um... So, yeah, this is the cool thing about uh, Shin Megami Tensei uh, 2 that when I played it, it's like a first-person dungeon crawler type of game. And that's not like the later Shin Megami Tensei games. The later Shin Megami Tensei games, 4 and 5 at least, um... It's like a third-person JRPG, right? You just explore around and you do battle monsters. Um, it's your, like your typical JRPG type of game. Um, but then Shin Megami Tensei 2, when I play this, it's like a it's a dungeon crawler. It's a 3D perspective dungeon crawler, and that's exactly what this game is like too. If except now you're exploring a classroom, which is honestly more similar. Um, yeah, which is a kind of a setting of a Persona game actually. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is like a first-person dungeon crawler in a school. Yep, just kind of reminds me of like a... Kind of like a dungeon crawler Persona game then, but Persona has its own dungeon crawler series called Q. But yeah, this is its own thing, so it's really interesting. So it's like, if you took Persona 2, which is set in a classroom mostly, and um, you made a 3D dungeon crawler, that's pretty interesting. Okay, Professor. Oh, let's see. Let's go to this classroom. Club room, I mean. Baseball club room. The whole school is kind of like the first village in RPG, you know? Wow, is that... Is uh, you're self-aware? Okay, such a room. Got two helmets. Metal bat. Okay, that, that'll help. Oh, let's see. How do you open up the inventory? Okay, here we go. Item. Helmet. Magic. You have no magic. What's comp? Computer. Config. Oh, that's the settings. Yeah, okay. She can equip a helmet. So I already equipped the metal bat, I guess, by default, it seems. It's cool to have a dungeon crawler in a school setting. Because usually dungeon crawlers are, you know, in dungeons. <laughs> Two shoulder pads, awesome. Okay, good. Um... Shoulder pad. Give her a shoulder pad. There. Hockey. Hazima is a creep. Who's Hazima? Demons and black magic. What the heck? Black backpads. Okay, good. We got more. We got more equipment. We gotta get everyone equipped up. Something from each athletic room. Football. I think I went to football already, right? This should be baseball, yeah. Okay, let's see. This is hockey. Okay, what's this one? Sumo. Rollerblades. Okay, good. I think we've got a full set of equipment now. Just from searching all the different athletic rooms here. Roller blades have now become protection. Okay, let's go. That was worth it. Um, lab. Alright, this guy doesn't tell me anything. Oops. 
downstairs. You may not pass. You have to do what I say. What? What a jerk. Okay. Stairs. Upstairs. We're gonna keep going here. 2A. Classroom 2A, what's here? Keep it cool, man. Okay. In there. So far, I haven't run into any monsters yet. See, let's look here. We're all trapped in this. Okay, this is just guys panicking. Okay, I think I still have to answer that question first. It's upstairs. Downstairs. Pumpkin, no good here either. You may not pass. You have to do what I said, okay. Fine. I guess we'll go upstairs. Since we've been downstairs already. Hmm, can I go upstairs again? What's this room? Nothing. Oh, just an empty room. New brand new laptop with my bonus. I'm just paralyzed, can't do anything with it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the guy tr causing all this mess, huh? It's always the guy doing experiments. It's always a crazy guy doing like mad lab scientist, mad scientist experiments. That's a, yeah, that must be the dude. As a, coincidentally, that's also the uh, name of the main enemy in uh, Blaze Blue. That Hazama guy. <laughs> Hazama is just not a good name. Never name your kids Hazama guys. He's always, they're always bad guys in the Japanese video games. may not pass, you have to do what I say. This guy's fishy, check out the crazy look in his eyes. Probably they're brainwashed. Upstairs. Okay. So yeah, I guess we'll go upstairs again then. Keep going up. Whoa. Dimensional rift. What the heck? If you go upstairs, there's a, there's a dimensional rift. Why can't we go there? Why can't we go inside the dimensional rift? Hmm. Interesting. Why can't we don't go inside the dimensional rift, I wonder? Okay, what if we go upstairs from here? Same thing. Okay, then. Okay, so I guess it's nothing else. We checked all the rooms. Checked all the rooms here. Uh, I guess we have to go downstairs. But here, I think we checked all the rooms too, right? classrooms. Uh, let's go downstairs again. Right. Store. Okay, it's just
base pick. That'll help. Okay, she can equip the ice pick. Janitor. Okay, nothing can do there. This dialogue. Stand in front of a dimension. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess the entire school is uh, covered by this dimensional rift and we can't do anything. The heck? Oh, this is where the enemies talk. Can't use the computer. Okay, do auto here. Oh. What the heck? We ran away. They're too, they're too powerful for us. Okay, give me more strength. And I guess I got more speed because that was my, um, that was the personality test, and that that's what that uh, did for me, I guess. Um, that's more strength. Okay, so that was uh, enemies. I guess there's finally and there's enemies here. Jim. Dimensional rift. I see that. Okay, someone was summon. Okay, so I guess it's that Hazama guy that was summoning spirits or something in the gym, or he was uh causing this dimensional rift. See leftover signs of a creepy ceremony. Yeah, that's definitely um that guy, that mad scientist guy. Science Professor. Crazy Science for Professor Godball. Let's use auto here. Oh, um, we always run away. But I always level up. It's good, I guess. These uh, these monsters are strong or something. Music. Okay, let's check out what's here. There's a press that you try to steer the school, but you're just wasting your time. Hmm. Interesting banter there. into principal's office on invite. Okay. But, sir, uh, the school is covered with an interdimensional rift. Don't you think that's a reason to enter the principal's office? Ooh, what a sexy doctor. Dr. Kayama. If you're not feeling it, I'll heal what ails you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, give me some healing, doctor. Oh, ointment, thank you. Wow. She was quite the looker. <laughs> Standing there in that sexy pose. What the heck? Why, she turned into a monster. What the heck? Interesting. Turned into a monster. Yes, got him. What the heck? He turned into a monster. Oh no, it's not him, it's another mine. Anyway, I guess it was the monster was after him. Yeah, no, it's, I thought he turned into a monster, but actually probably what the monster was after him. Sure. Okay, this is a safe room. That's uh 
Not a good spot for a save, because it's really in the same location as every other classroom, so... Might be, uh, hard to miss. I mean, might be easy to miss. Yeah. The lab just has this guy, right? I've already been here before. This is the club room. I think I already got all my equipment from here. Yep. Use sphere ointment. What does that do? Ointment. Uh, don't need any ointment yet. But yeah, um, not sure what to do. So I've been, I think I've been to every place so far, and uh, I'm not sure where to go next. There's no downstairs, right? Can't go to the, can't go outside. Oh, fairy pixie. Left. She left. How can you, how can the monster just leave like that? That guy looks like. Wait, he looks like Samuel Jackson, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, that's Samuel Jackson. That's Nick Fury. Why does the janitor look like Nick Fury? Okay, anyways. Weird. Yeah, this is just the uh, place where he summoned the demons. So nothing to do here. Not sure what to do now, because I'm pretty sure I checked every classroom and every door now. And yeah, still nothing can do. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm not really sure what to do now. Uh, I think I've checked everywhere. I'm not really sure what to do. It's just an empty room. I'm yeah, not really sure what, to, what I can do now. But anyways, um, Shin Megami Tensei If. It's an interesting um, dungeon crawler game set in a school, which is really cool. And, uh, and yeah, I, I didn't know that the early Shin Megami Tensei games were all dungeon crawlers like this. They're all 3D dungeon crawlers. Because I only play the later Shin Megami Tensei games, which play more like just standard uh, JRPGs. So, I mean, they're JRPGs where you can, like, you know, kind of capture monsters, I guess. But still, they're, they're more like standard JRPGs, so whereas this one is more of a 3D dungeon crawler. But yeah, it's very interesting nonetheless. Shin Megami Tensei, if... Um, it's an interesting spin-off, very similar, plays pretty much the same as Shin Megami Tensei 2, it's just in a different setting. So, yeah, again, pretty cool game, pick up the fan-translated version uh, if you want to play it, because I don't think that the, uh, the early Shin Megami Tensei games have ever been uh, officially localized. So, so guys, pretty cool. Um, if you're into Persona, actually, as well, you might like this one better, because it's set in the classroom. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Persona 2, because uh, Persona 2 is mostly set in the classroom. So, so guys, thanks for watching.